Hello, and uh, thanks for watching. I realized after I had uploaded this video, and I watched it, that I had uh, put the wrong frame rate when in the rendering process in the editing. So I finally got around to making some sort of changes, and hopefully the frame rate is correct now, and it won't appear jerky like the car movements at the end of the film. In addition to making corrections in this video, I also removed the last part, uh, the one showing the archipelago. This was sort of a teaser which I added then. I removed that and then I added this in instead. I've had my uh, DJI Mini 2 since May of 2021, and now it's February 2022. And the film sequences that you saw with the drone in the fog were from November um, 2021. I was really surprised by the fog. Of course, the drone was a considerable distance, uh, and there I was looking at the screen, uh, and it was only when I turned around uh, that I realized the extent of the fog. I had seen something just before I turned around, and then suddenly there was a lot of fog. So I was quite surprised to see all of this. Now the question is, um, what should I have done? Uh, I didn't want to panic, of course, and I don't think I did. Uh, but it was a rather stressful situation. So, as I started to fly along the stream back, um, which was my first idea, uh, and I was going to fly up to the little uh, lake, or at least I was flying the drone up to the little lake, uh, and I was trying to figure out what to do. Uh, the thought crossed my mind that I could just land the drone someplace safe, in a place that I thought I would be able to find it again, and hopefully no one would come along and pick it up and walk away with it. Or um, if I landed at some place not near the water, but sort of towards where I was, I know I was going over a field where there could be cattle. I didn't want them to stomp all over that or whatever would happen. So I thought that seemed to be not the best solution. Those of you who are drone pilots, you might be thinking, well, Joe, just put it in the automatic return to home. It would fly up to whatever elevation you had predetermined, 60 meters, 100 meters, or whatever, and it would fly back and land safely. Uh, and then you could take control over it at the very end if you wanted to. Yes, I considered that as well. But as you see, I was very close to a road with a lot of traffic. Since I had been surprised by the fog, I wasn't sure about how much fog there would be a few minutes later. Maybe it would be very worse where I was. Uh, and perhaps uh, the, I wouldn't see it until it was almost landing on the road. And that seemed to be a bad idea. So what did I do? It was the least worse option of flying it back. Um, and if I hadn't done this, I wouldn't have had this footage. And it was only much later that I realized that, wow, I could make a film out of all this. I'd uh, like to thank all my subscribers, anyone who has written comments and liked the video, or any videos that you've seen on this channel. I'm not quite sure what the next steps will be going forward with this channel. It's been mostly drone footage or things that I've put together from uh, and to, to sort of make films out of that. Um, but I do have a, two micro four-thirds system cameras and a number of lenses. And I think besides drones that I may be moving more in that direction uh, in the channel in the future. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you very much for any likes or comments that you provided. And I hope to see you in the next one.